Now that Pfizer has submitted its vaccine for kids as young as six months old to the FDA, some questions are still out there. One big concern for families is whether two doses provides enough protection for kids ages two to four. That window right there is what we're focusing on. Karis Belger live from the CDC with more on what parents need to know. Karis, the White House is looking to address some of these concerns Wednesday. So good morning. So the White House did have a briefing with a member of the coronavirus task force, and they mentioned that if this is approved by the FDA and recommended by the CDC, then the White House will take over in distributing the vaccine. But before that can happen, the FDA will meet later this month. The 15th is the date that is scheduled. When that happens, they will look over Pfizer's request for emergency use of its COVID vaccine for children under the age of five. So there's something to consider with their research. Kids between six months and two years did have a response that was comparable to older children with a two do with two doses of the vaccine, which is what they were looking for. However, that was not the case for children between the ages of two and four. So six months to two, they saw the results they wanted to um, ages two to two to four. They did not. So right now they're trying to see what they can do to address that, but they are still moving forward with their recommendation. Medical professionals are still saying the two dose regimen would be helpful considering how much concern there is for children who up until now have not been able to get vaccinated. The COVID vaccine, if anything, is under more scrutiny than ever before, and we just haven't seen major concerns with the safety of these vaccines. Now, Pfizer is looking into the possibility of what three doses could do to address that gap when it comes to children under five. But in the meantime, medical professionals are still saying the best protection for children is for people around them to wear high quality masks and to get vaccinated if they are eligible. If, if the FDA does approve this and it is recommended by the CDC, the White House will take over distributing the vaccine, making sure to concentrate on communities that have had um, a, a large impact when it comes to doses. Um, when it comes to cases rather of COVID. All right, Karis, a big focus on the little ones right now that could really be a game changer. Thank you for those updates.